dialed in for the elegant Temptations Christmas platter. Now, let me tell you the genesis of this, and we'll bring in Tara in just a moment. Last Christmas, you know that because of our situation, so many of us didn't go home for the holidays, and I was one of those people. Tara and her husband were in my quarantine bubble. And so I had them over for Christmas dinner, and I have some old English Christmas china that is no longer made. And we were getting ready for dinner, and Tara was studying the plate. And I came back to the table and found her holding it up and looking at it. And I was like, what's up, sweetie? And she said, this is really beautiful. Where did it come from? And I told her the story. They don't make it anymore. And she said, what if we use this as inspiration and we created a beautiful pattern for temptations and it would be something you and I would work on together? So we did. And this is the first iteration of what's to come in this beautiful Christmas tree pattern. Now, my original pattern had lots of presents under and on the tree, so we tried to stay true to that. One thing that Tara wanted to do was the embossed snowflakes and the beautiful scroll work. I need to let you know, this is not a traditional turkey platter. This would be more ideally suited for like a turkey breast. It is 14 inches long. You're going to love the pattern. It's really, really gorgeous. I love the way it turned out. Look at the colorful presence and the train and the tree with the shading and the gorgeous candles. And we wanted to add the word peace to the stocking because at this time in our history, worldwide, I think we're all looking for a little peace and a little reassurance that everything's going to be okay. Now, let's bring in the lady who makes it all possible. Tara Tesher is here. Tara, this was such a labor of love. And we should let everyone know that this is the first of many pieces that are coming in uh, to our collection in this pattern, but this is the first one we're going on air with. Yeah, you're absolutely right, David. And I love your suggestion to make an everyday platter. And that's what this is. I think we all have our big, huge turkey platters and, and all of those different pieces that we want to use. But this is something that because of the pattern and the detail and the way that we did it, it's something you can use all season long. So yes, we start with that gorgeous, very organic ruffled edge that you see there. And we can show David so you can see a little closer detail. We put the beading that runs all the way around the edges, just framing that gorgeous artwork. And then all of that is embossed. What does it mean? It means that it's actually in the mold and then the glass glaze is put on top of it to bring it to life. The tree itself, so many iterations until we got it just right. Mm -hmm. The piece that we added, the joy to the truck, David was meticulous in really wanting to capture vibrant colors, but keeping kind of the feel of the, of the, the old school houses with the ornaments the candlelight, the candles that are on there, right? Very European style. And again, all of the little ornaments that you see there, of course, even a nutcracker. So the sleigh at the top, the star up at the top, this was all of those beautiful brush strokes. This is actually done by hand first. It is then created and then applied to that uh, beautiful uh, platter and then glazed on top of it. So you don't have to worry about cutting on here. You don't have to worry about scratching it. And yes, it's temptations, which means this platter will take a mighty five pound ham and go in the oven up to 500 degrees or the dishwasher when you want to clean it or the microwave. Or the microwave, eating, yeah. Or the fridge or the freezer. But because David wanted an everyday size, that 14 inch is going to be perfect for everything you can think of. Well, we want to let you know now that we've taken orders for 1,300 are gone. Yay. 4,600 is what I have in stock right now. We're hoping to get some more in before Christmas, but you know what? We're keeping our fingers crossed and, and wishing and, and saying a little prayer every day. So if you want one of the 4,600 I have in stock right now that can ship right now, be on the line right now. Now, we are coming out with some dessert plates that will match this, and we're also looking at some mugs too, I think, Tara. Is that right? Yes, and a beautiful serving bowl, hopefully. We'll see what we can get to arrive. <laughs> yeah, and what will arrive before Christmas. Now, right. will we do more pieces in the future? That all depends on how much everyone likes it. If you love it and you embrace it, then we'll bring in more pieces, and who knows, there might be dinnerware one day. But it's That's important right. to know that this is the perfect size. I love the size, Tara, because I've got a big turkey platter at home. I didn't need another turkey platter. I needed something right. that I could put something more intimate on, like a turkey breast or a five-pound ham. I wanted this for a dessert platter. I wanted it for appetizers. I wanted it for something that I could utilize as a family passing dish at the holiday table, and it could have rolls on it. It could do, you know, there's so many ways. And I love what our stylist did here. She made this a 
Santa plate, complete with hot Santa. chocolate yeah. and beautiful little peppermints and whatnot. This, these are going very quickly. Five easy payments on your credit card. I have fewer than 4,000 to go around now. Is that right, 4,000? And lots of folks are ordering more than one because remember, if you've got more than one of these at your holiday table, then you've got more ways to utilize this and serve with it. It really is an impressive piece. And Tara, I'm just thrilled with how it turned out. Well, and you know what, David, while we were talking about the memories uh, this last Christmas, right, it was a very different Christmas for all of us. So we were connecting over the childhood memories and David was talking about this dinnerware that his mom had that he now has that they no longer make, but it was such a memory and a moment for him of those times gone by. And that's what this represents. It's really, truly taking all of those sculptural details, the inspiration for what I would call a very iconic tree, a very upscale, beautiful look. So when we created the framing and the snowflakes, all of it worked together to truly create that platter that you could have multiple of, that you could use to display if you had a little plate rack. It's truly meant to be a piece of art more than it is anything else in your home. And it's really spectacular. I love the scroll work, the snowflakes. Everything about this is just so traditional. And it's stoneware, so it goes in the oven up to 500 degrees. Goes in your dishwasher for quick and easy cleanup, even in your microwave if you need to keep something warm. This works out beautifully. I will tell you the measurements on this 14 inches long from end to end. The width is nine and a half inches, and the depth on this is about one and an eighth of an inch. So if you've got something with sauce or gravy here, Tara, no worries at all. It will all stay right here in the center of the of the platter. Don't miss out on this opportunity. We're very, very busy. I have now 3,200s in, uh, available in stock, and we have, and 2,700 already ordered. 3,200 left. And how many folks on the phone lines? 600 people waiting to place an order. Lots of you <laughs> picking up more than one of these, and I'm so proud of it. We're looking forward to more pieces coming out, but get this now while you can because what we have in stock, we know we can ship right now. The rest of it is kind of a roll of the dice. So we encourage yeah. everybody to just grab what you can. Hey, we're going to wrap up here, Tara, but we're coming back with your nine inch rounds made of stoneware. Very exciting. Yes. And we'll keep you updated on the Christmas platter, the everyday Christmas platter. All right, now an item from our friend Meredith Lawrence, the Blue Jean.